Hi Chic friends, this is Fiona Ferris from HowToBeChic.com and today I have a little message and it's about bringing beauty and elegance in a feminine way into your everyday life using your senses. So I was just having a think about this this morning when I was putting on my makeup and doing my hair for work and um, I just thought it's to, there's so many little ways that you can um, I'm just holding my microphone here to see if it's a better sound than other videos where I haven't had a microphone, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. This morning when I was doing my makeup in here, I thought about all the feminine ways that make me feel good on a daily basis and just remembering to use them and remembering to enjoy them, not just rushing through and uh, doing everything, rush, 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 got to get ready for work, got to leave the house. And it does take a little bit longer, but it's more a state of mind that you think, how can I do this in an elegant and feminine way? And how can I enjoy femininity and being a girl or female? And just taking advantage of that, because I feel sorry for guys. They don't get to do all the fun and pretty things that we do, but they probably don't miss them anyway, so that's okay. But I thought I would just go through briefly all the ways that I can think of that I would uh, use on a day-to-day -day basis to be feminine and be pretty and be elegant and just enjoy. So starting off with your uh, how you see things, your eyes, it's about the colours that you surround yourself in your home and the things that you wear, do you enjoy the colours, are they uplifting to you? Today I have on, I'll show you, my let's hold this I've got my little um, favourite where are we <laughs> oh this is a disaster my favourite new ballet flats there they are and I also have on uh, blue sort of steel blue grey linen shirt with a, a singlet top underneath that is uh, soft and pretty that I uh, like a pinky sort of colour that I like as well so just wearing colours that make you feel feminine and soft and things that a guy would not wear, like a guy would never wear blush pink uh, ballet flats or a little pink singlet top under his shirt, highly unlikely. And it's also things that are around your home. I was going to move this so my toilet rolls out of the way. <laughs> so funny. No one wants to see that. And it's little things like uh, the cushions on your sofa, little pictures around the place. I like nice tissue boxes. Recently, like in the last year or so, I've started buying tissues for our home because I just think they're such a luxurious thing to have. And it's only a couple of dollars for a box that lasts for ages. And you can get really pretty little boxes. I don't have holders really for them, but because I know in the 80s there used to be those. Uh, fabric holders with lace and doilies on the top. I don't have those, but tissue boxes these days come in such pretty containers. They are floral prints and that kind of thing. So I like to have one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom, one in both bathrooms, got an ensuite, and uh, one in the living room, and one in my office by my computer as well. So there's always something if I want to blow my nose or um, that kind of thing. It's just nice to always have soft tissues around and pretty boxes to look at. Um, moving on to uh, things that we can smell. This, oh, you can't have a favourite sense I'm sure because they're all pretty good, but I love nice smelling things and I wear perfume literally 24-7. <laughs> I put on perfume when I go to bed so that I can just drift off on a nice cloud of um, prettiness. And I also put perfume on multiple times a day when I'm at home and when I go to work I take a bottle with me as well to top up. I don't know if it's too much for other people, but uh, it's just for me, so I enjoy it. And another way I like to add fragrance into my life is by using scented body creams and hand lotions, which I put on all the time as well, and they have a double bonus because you get nice soft skin from them. Another part of smelling good is cleanliness, and in your home, it's amazing how different it smells when you've just done the housework. It smells really fresh, and not that it smelled terrible before, but it just really freshens up the air and the atmosphere and I also love to open windows when I am uh, at home for the day even if it's quite cold I'll open them up for a couple of hours 
and it just really gets the breeze flowing. I'll literally go through and open up every single window in the house and um, let the breeze flow through everywhere, even, and especially rooms that you don't use much, like the guest room. Uh, something else that I was thinking of are scented candles, of course. love scented candles. I don't actually burn scented candles that often, but I do every so often have one. I had one going yesterday for the first time in a month or so, and it was a one that my mum gave me for my birthday, a Koya French pear, which is beautiful. It's a New Zealand brand. So I think they're a little bit international though, so you might better find a Koya, E-C-O-Y-A, French pear is yummy. And moving on to taste. Now, taste is a funny thing because this is the one that a lot of us overdo, including myself, and it's eating yummy things, which can be to our detriment. And I try and think of ways that I can have feminine and elegant tastes without being uh, gluttonous and eating my body weight in chocolate, which I have been known to do in the past. And things that come to mind for me are fresh seasonal fruits, which I enjoy for breakfast, and herbal teas during the day feel really nice. Uh, there's lots of different ones. You don't just have to have boring sounding herbal teas, but there's lots of fruit teas that a lot of people that don't like herbal tea really enjoy fruit teas. And you can have them, they're designed to be drunk in unsweetened and without milk, so they're really healthy for you, and it's nice to sip on a hot drink too. The next sense I'm going to talk about is your hearing, and how to be feminine and elegant uh, with the things that you hear, and also the things that you say. I try, and I'm getting better, at keeping my voice nice and not being a shrew when I talk to my husband not nagging and not calling out from another room but going to see him if I want to ask him something and he's not in the same room um, and just the words that come out of my mouth as well try not to complain and um, be negative and think how it's going to sound from another person's point of view and I'm not perfect certainly but the more I get uh, the more I try, the better I get, hopefully over time. So it's a constant reminder to myself to do that. And it feels better for me as well, because not only are there other people hearing the words that I'm saying, but I'm hearing them as well. So if I am the one that is constantly complaining and moaning, it will be out loud, but it will also be in my head. And um, even if there's no one else around, I might just be in the habit of uh, being negative. So I hear that as well. And it's just brings about more of that bad stuff. So it's just a good reminder to keep thoughts positive, as twee as it sounds, because it really is good for you. It's good metal food. And the last one is touch, the last sense I'm going to talk about. And it's uh, literally touch, like the body lotion I was talking about in the fragrance part, but also textures that you wear, textures that you surround yourself with at home, and having nice things around um, a lot of people just only like natural fabrics but I don't mind some synthetic fabrics because they feel really soft and nice but if a fabric is slightly scratchy or um, just is a bit staticky if it's highly synthetic that makes my skin crawl so I can't really have those things around me and I probably wouldn't buy them anyway if I touched them in a store that's why I quite like to buy things that I can feel rather than uh, purchase online if I can help it and the same goes for things like uh, paper. I was looking at buying a, um, a journal, no it's not a journal, next year's diary online that I saw on an Instagram, one of my people I follow's Instagram, and it looked really cool, and I thought, oh, what if the pages are really thin and horrible, or <laughs> they're too shiny, I won't like them. So I didn't order it, and I'm going to go into one of our local bookstores and buy one that I can see that the paper's a nice thickness for me, and that I like the look of it too. Another part of touch is with what you clothe yourself in, uh, and it goes along with the texture thing as well. Do you like the uh, the feeling of something as you put it on? Because that's really important. And you might find that you don't wear some things in your wardrobe, and it's not that you don't like them, but you just subconsciously avoid them because they don't feel very good. It's your skin. So that is all my little thoughts for today on uh, living a sensual life by surrounding yourself with nice things for all your senses 
and my name is Fiona Ferris. I also, again, forgot to say that at the beginning of the video. My website is howtobechic.com and I also have books published under my name Fiona Ferris on Amazon. My two latest ones are 30 Chic Days, Practical Inspiration for a Beautiful Life, available in uh, paperback and also on Kindle. And uh, my latest book is Financially Chic, about living a uh, luxurious life on a budget, learning to love managing money and growing your abundance. I am publishing a new book, probably today or tomorrow and uh, it's pretty much ready to go and it's called how to be chic in the winter and that one is about living a uh, slim happy and stylish life during the cold season yeah so and all of those are available on kindle and uh, will be in print copy for the newest one that will on all in print as well so thank you for joining me today and i would love to hear your favorite way to I guess pamper yourself and be feminine and elegant uh, using one of your senses and what that might be so please leave a comment below so that we can uh, get some new ideas and uh, share the goodness have a wonderful day bye